What up, everybody? It's April Dawn. Let's talk about it. This is Claw Season 2, Episode 1. All right, this was a big bang. Let's start off to the season, y'all. So I don't want to waste no time, so let's go ahead and get into Desna it. Desna meets with the crew. That's Uncle Daddy, Rolla, Bryce, the whole crew, to let them all know that they need to be um, making the deposits. They're wondering what's going on with the money. And Dr. Ken says the cash is overflowing at the clinic and they're not coming in making deposits on a regular basis. Sometimes they don't even come at all. So Desmond's telling them, listen, y'all got to get these deposits making. You're going to start going every day, making the deposits like I told you to. Okay, so you can tell that Desmond's having a problem with these people respecting her authority. She also tells Uncle Daddy that they need to get, they need to meet with a new wholesaler. And she set up a meeting for him at a restaurant. He claimed he don't like the restaurant or whatever. And she tells him, listen, you need to be there at the restaurant. So Desna has set up these, you know, it's a new power structure in place. And Desna and Reva are at the top of their power structure. And they are working for her, unlike her working for them. Then we see her go to her man house doctor, whatever. I don't know his name, but... He putting it down, baby. They rolling all over the bed. And it's just so nice to see some grown lady sex on TV with somebody that's more than one pound. Okay, so I'm here for Nishi Nash and all the sex you want to have, girl. You had sex with your man. Even though, if you remember from last season, he is a drug dealer as well. She tells him she has to leave and she goes home to Dean. Now, when she gets to Dean, he's upset because she was out all night. Well, not really because she was out all night, but he said that Virginia said something about a crazy Russian lady. And Desna is like, she talked too damn much, okay? Don't worry about what she got to say. I got a good job. I got things together now. I have this under control. And he looks at her like, okay, I'm going to trust you. You sure? And she's like, yeah, I got it under control. She goes on to the shop. As soon as she gets in, the girls notice the immediate afterglow, okay? They can tell she begin D down. Now, Quiet Amber looked over her shoulder with a little jealous look, okay? Because we all know at the end of last season, she broke up with her police officer boyfriend and the police officer boyfriend lost their job, okay? Because of whatever she did. I can't remember exactly what it was, but she lost her job. So she looking like, you got a man, you know what I'm saying? And you happy, you get some, but I had to end my relationship, you know, to keep us all safe. And then we see that Quiet Ann is still stalking her ex-girlfriend on Instagram, looking at her. And Virginia says, well, she looked pretty happy. I mean, for a cop who just got fired, she like she having a good time. So, you know, little do we know she could be having the time of her life not being a police officer in the morning. And Quiet Ann over here stalking her and feeling guilty about, you know, getting her to quit her job or her losing her job. So they say that niece is on her way over there. So they all start gathering up all the things in the shop, changing it all around, putting little Russian dolls, playing Russian music. Y'all was so hilarious how they just got Got out the Wiener Schnitzels and the chocolate and like <laughs> it was everything. I know Wiener Schnitzel is like German, but still sausages and all that stuff they eat over there. So and they put it all out and niece shows up. So um niece is also ba Rolla's baby mama. Okay, so Rolla's baby mama comes in the shop. She sit down. She got her baby. Rolla come in there with Bryce and Desna's like, you're not gonna speak to your baby mama. And he's like, girl, I ain't got time for that. I said, why are you gonna do this girl like this? Why would you do her like this, Rolla? Rolla and Bryce tell her that they went to the bank to deposit some money, but they had too many numbers in the tax ID number or something like that. She like, the bank been open for an hour and a half and y'all just now telling me this. He like, listen, the bank gonna be open all day long. We ran out of slips anyway. So she calls Rolla back into her office. Now, Rolla is thinking he gonna get some, honey. He thinking he about to hit them skins in the office like they used to do it back in the day. But no, no, no. Desna got a man. He asks her if she's still with that doctor. And she's like, yes, I'm still with that doctor. And he like, you know, we can go back to things it used to be. And she's like, when I worked for you. And she turned around to get some paper shot. He grabbing on her waist. And she's like, listen, so now you worried about me and my welfare. And he like, you know, I care about you, X, Y, and Z. No, that was a failed attempt. Now, on the outside, we got Jen. She's trying to talk to Bryce, telling Bryce basically, um, well, he said something. She's telling him something, and he said something about go to see your boyfriend. And she like, that's not my boyfriend. I told you that wasn't my damn boyfriend. And she was like, listen, I'm tired of being judged by Vanilla Bryce. That shit was funny as hell, okay? Rolla and Bryce go to the little Jewish square dancing place, right? To harass this man that slept with Jen. Now you can see they do this every day because Rolla said, "Listen, we can't be coming over here every day doing this or whatever." So he go up in there ifing at him like he gonna beat him up every day, which I don't even think Bryce gonna beat him up, okay? Because if you was gonna do it, you would have did it already at this point. Dude, tell him don't come back over here. I'ma call the cops. And Rolla tell him, "Listen, you better go out there and honk tonk shake your ass, okay? And don't call no police. It's gonna be a different type of situation." Rolla and Bryce go down to the clinic and they see that Dr. Ken is up in there burning. 
money, child, in the trash can. He is so paranoid about the feds showing up and oh, them get all getting in trouble for having all this cash just laying around. So he's burning money and they telling him, you know, you need to stop burning money. He said, well, you need to do your damn job, okay, and deposit this money. Now we back at the shop and they have a black woman and she's getting her nails done, honey, with deer antlers on there. She said something about meat, deer meat or something. She was the some lady was feeding the kid. I don't can't remember what it was, but she said she was gonna flash the nails at the lady because she don't deserve to be around children or around food. <laughs> Reva shows up, so Reva says that her and Desna need to talk. So they go into the office and she tells her that their clients want more profit, so they're gonna start running coke and she need her to facilitate it. Desna like, look, I'm not getting my people involved in it or whatever. She was like, okay, well whatever, get your hustlers to do it. They need to go to the nursing home, get the coke, bring it to. She she's okay by eight o'clock tonight is an important night and i don't have no exceptions and make sure they do what the hell they supposed to do and re-believe it so desna goes back and tell all the girls listen i gotta put a fire up on the clay ass because listen they about they gonna they gonna fucking kill us bitch they gonna kill us if we don't have this stuff together we gotta get this coke move you know this above our pay grade but it is what it is we gotta do what we gotta do Oh, when Reva left the shop, child, uh, little niece almost left her damn baby at the shop. I said, child, this is why Roland don't want to tell you, hey, girl, this is why he don't want to talk. You see Uncle Daddy at his house. He's going through a mourning period. He got, you know, his wife, now her name was Wanda or something like that, right? Name on his pinky. He got a special nail for her with her picture. He's going through it. He's sitting outside. He got all the stuff outside in the yard sale, and um, he's selling her things. Now, his little boy toy got mad about something. I can't remember. And he took his breast implants and put him on the table and was like this wasn't for her i was like okay i don't know what that was all about can somebody explain that to me but um he's grieving her so desna comes out there to see him and tell him that we need to talk so they go to the side and talk she tells him what the deal is what what, what reva wants to happen and he tells her listen we was doing you know we selling opioids this is legal it's not illegal you know we stepping into a whole new avenue i thought you didn't want this life and she said well you know i don't i didn't want it but you know this is, is what it is we have to do this so make sure your people do what they need to do by eight o'clock tonight and i'm serious and i'm not asking so virginia is coming out of the restroom sick again and dean catches her in the hallway she said oh i have must have food poisoning again you know trying to pull one over on him but dean is not a dumb person he tells her or it could be pregnancy girl you've been complaining about sore breasts you've been sick all the time or whatever and he said she was like i was gonna tell you he was like i know but i was just being patient and so i love dean dean is quickly becoming like my favorite character on this whole show that man been acting since i was a child okay he is a good actor like he's freaking amazing and he deserves some awards or something because he is killing it playing this role like it's seamless like it's everything so I thought that was a sweet little thing. Desna and her man having a little cooking dinner date at the, at the house. Ella, oh, never mind. So Desna and her man having a little cooking dinner date at her house. And uh, they dancing in the kitchen, child. They having a good time. So he gets a phone call and he tells her it's the hospital, but it's actually Uncle Daddy. So Uncle Daddy like, listen, we need to roll on this bitch. We tired of, um, you know, playing games with this Russian hoe. She about to mess up all our business. It's time to do it. Let's do it. And he's like, nah, you know, you move when I say move. You know, lay low, play your position. And he get off the phone with her. He go back to Desna. Uncle Daddy turn around. There's some men that are wrestling in oil in a pool in the room, child. Uncle Daddy be into it. He's into the weirdest shit, okay? But I live for him. <laughs> we back with Reva and her niece and her sister shows up. So, her sister is the niece's mother. Her name is Shlata, Sh Shlata, Lata. I, I didn't get that name. Y'all help me out in the comments if you know the name. Her sister show up. She greet her. She greet her daughter. Then Reva's man comes in and tells her that the drugs are not at the clock. It's 8 o'clock on the dot. Okay, they not in there. And what she needs to call. So, you know, something is wrong. He says, didn't you tell Desna to take care of this? She said, yes, I did. So she picks up the phone to call Desna while her sister is offering the help. Desna don't answer the phone and go to voicemail. So she mad. She slammed the glass or whatever. Molly, Ken, and Marnie are at the house eating their dinner you know she got marnie all dressed up like her now so i wonder what they're gonna do with marnie character this season but she gets the call from reva reva tells her she can't find desna so she like i need to go find desna she and some shit you know what i'm saying i see y'all later so she goes over to desna's and at desna's or i don't know if it was the doctor house or desna house i'm not exactly sure but she goes over there i think it was the doctor house 
Matter of fact, I know it's the doctor's house. Desna tells her that Reva has called her. She's looking for her. That thing that was supposed to be there is not there. So Desna is tripping out at this point. She gets her, Quiet Ann, and Polly go down to the nursing home because they're going to do it themselves because Bryce and Rolla and all of them can't be counted on to do their job. So Lata is talking to her daughter, and she says that, you know, the daughter is saying, talking about Roland, how he don't want to talk to her. He don't want, really want nothing to do with her at all. And she comforts her a little bit. And she says, well, what did my sister tell you about her? She's talking about Reva. She said, oh, she said this. She said that about you and all of this. She's like, she's trying to turn you away from me. I love you. I've always loved you. So Reva calls her back into the room because now they got to go down and take care of some business. So now we have Desna, Quiet Ann and Polly down to the nursing home about to box everything up and take it. And right when they're getting ready to leave, they run into Reva, Lata, and the little, the little niece, the daughter. So they're all there, you know, thinking they're about to leave. Reva's like, listen, you can't control your people, girl. I don't care what's going on. Um, I'm about to do this Russian shit. So her and then her and Lata start arguing with each other about her trying to turn her daughter against her. And, you know, she done turned the whole family against her in X, Y, and Z. So Desna's like, listen, I see y'all got some issues, you know, between the two of you. So I'm just going to step out, you know, and go handle this business. You know what I'm saying? Don't bite me. But Reva was like, bitch, where you going? I to put the gun on Desna. And Desna like, you going to let this girl just shoot me? And, you know, Reva's looking like, yeah, that's my sister. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. You know what I'm saying? So lots of go on and start talking about, okay, yeah, if we was in Russia, you know, we would do this. And this would happen. And that would happen. And, you know, we would cut off your limbs and send your kids to the broth and all type of horrible shit. And then she was just like, yeah, that's how we would do it in Georgia, huh, sister? Yeah. And she like, yeah, sis, that's how we would do it, bitch, back at the crib, you know? And then she turned the gun on Reva and said, well, bitch, we ain't in Georgia no more. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And she shoot her sister dead in between the eyes. I said, Lord. It was crazy. She said she tied her sister and blew her damn brains out. Ooh, ooh. Now they got a new boss. Will she be better? Will she be worse? Like, how is this going to work out? She tells them it was nice to meet you guys. You get some rest. And we're going to start off fresh in the morning. For the next morning, they all back at the shop. Polly tripping because when she shot her, they got brain matter all in Polly hair. Like, it was a hot-ass mess, okay? Like, it was just a mess. So, Polly tripping. They got to say a little speech to calm Polly down. They know that she's coming there in the morning. They don't know what to expect. They don't know if she's going to be, you know, pleasant to work with or she's going to be horrible. She's going to be worse than Reva was. So, she shows up in the morning with a big cardboard cutout of herself. Okay, she comes in there with a positive attitude she tells them that you know she saw herself in desna when her sister was yelling at her and you know she wants to have an organization where the girls can work together and so she gives all the girls some money here you go some money because nobody should be competing this against each other we should be working together to show the men that we can do it and we can have more fun than when they do it she pays out champagnes and she also passes out hors d'oeuvres okay and then she gives everybody jobs tells them what they're gonna do for example uh, quiet and oh she tells them she wants to start a male review and she's gonna change the name change the name of she she's to hammer and pickle so she tells Quiet Ann and, and Virginia to go find some male dancers. That's their job. She's going to tell um, Polly is going to train the dancers. She's going to get them together. You know, boom, cat, cat. You know what I'm saying? And then you have um, Jen. Jen was like, well, you know, see, because I lost my husband and, you know, this happened and that happened and the other happened. You know, I'm just probably going to chill right here at the shop. You know what I'm saying? Just focus on my nails. She said, okay, well, you need somebody that's going to keep the business running as usual. So that's cool. And then she like, Desna, you come with me because we need to speak to these men about this business while virginia and ann are out looking for male dancers desna and lata goes down to she she's to talk to clay to talk to all of them okay so she basically sits down with them and she's asking them questions about the business about how they get around the insurance company now clay don't want to tell her nothing her uncle daddy don't want to tell her nothing right so she asked desna to answer the questions so basically it's a cash business they it works better with people who don't have insurance um, they don't prescribe over a certain amount of pills. They see the customers only one time during a certain amount of days and they train their customers not to sell shit in the parking lot, not to do anything, you know, crazy on the side. So that's how they don't get caught. So Desna is telling her all of this. 
basically why Uncle Daddy and them just sitting out over there being pissed. So Virginia and Anne, they striking out. So they went on down to the Home Depot, child, and got them some Hispanic men. They working and twerking and dancing all in front of the car. So they pick up the whole, they say, everybody, just come on, everybody, just come on down there. And all y'all get in the car, honey. So down at she she's Polly's got these men, they working them out. She cracking the whip, getting them in shape while she doing that, Desna. And lots are talking in the office. She's saying that, you know, we need everybody hands on deck for this. And Desna's like, listen, I draw the line in my people, you know, getting deeper into this. You know what I'm saying? Some of them have been to jail. I don't want them to go back on the inside. And she's like, you know what? You wear the crown of a true boss. She said she walking like a boss, even if she don't know it. So she was like, all right, cool. But what she needs to do is show those men that she a boss because they don't respect her. She said that and she can see that they don't respect her and you need to teach them a lesson. So she takes her to a room. And in that room, Bryce is sitting with... Um, a TV and there's some men come in the room so he can't leave and a video plays of the man and Jen having sex and she like where you got this from girl I got it from the cloud okay don't put no shit on the cloud I don't put none of my pictures on the cloud just to let y'all know he was up in there having sex with the man and Bryce screaming was the funniest shit of the whole episode y'all him screaming like that was fucking hilarious to me like I couldn't take it and then they went to then they went to Uncle Daddy's house and threw some bottle rockets in his house and uh, basically firebombed, that's what they call that type of stuff, firebombed his house. And he came out like, you crazy bitch, da da da, I'm not gonna work for you. Basically, I'm gonna intimidate you and you know, until you decide to do what I hell I tell you to do, basically. And so then she said, tomorrow we're gonna get rollers. So at one o'clock, I want you to be at this place at this they time. They all show up at one o'clock. And she tells them, guess what? It's going to be a win today. Rolla is going to marry her daughter. Boom. And ain't going to be no two ways about it, y'all. When Rolla took off running, I like to die, y'all, when Rolla took off running. That shit was so funny to me, okay? But they caught that nigga. And child, this wedding was a nothing but a Russian white trash. It was a woo hillbilly mess, honey. They came in on horses. Like, it was just a hot ass mess. Roller got up there and he was like, listen, you a man of God. You can't let this happen, right? And guess what? The rabbi pulled a gun on his ass like, bitch, you gonna marry, you gonna marry this young lady, okay? Whether you like it or not. So they got married. You know, everybody's at the reception. It's like all type of Russian dances going on mixed with all other kind of foolishness. It was just a lot of foolishness. So then all the girls go back in the room. They talking like, what the hell we gonna do? I mean, this bitch is crazy. Like, she gonna kill us. And like, we just all need to stick together. They do the little hand clap, you know, of sisterhood. And Polly goes to find Kim because she said she need a little something to help her feel good. Now, at first I was like, let me find out she on these damn pills. But she not on the pills, child. She was going trying to get some dick. So she found Dr. Ken and he bent it over real quick. And she said she needs to check on Marnie because she be worried about her. And I said, you know what? It's gonna be something up with Marnie this season. I can already tell. But, you know, they go ahead and hit it one time, you know, get them a quickie to just relax her spirit or whatever. I understand. And Desnar talking, and he's basically like, listen, you know, what we gonna do about this? Because you seen what she did to me, so you can imagine what she gonna do to you. And she's like, listen, we gonna, you gonna have to roll with this for a little while. You just gonna have to keep it status quo. I ain't, and just, you know, deal with it or whatever. And he's like, you know, we can make this happen. We can take her over, and we can, you know, I'm worried about you and all this. She like, now you worried about me? He like, girl, you know it was all about you and all of that. So I think that this season rolling is gonna prove itself to really really care about this now maybe not in like a we should be together way but like you know when like a, i really care about you as a person i don't want nothing bad to happen to you so we'll see what happens with that whole thing Roll the wife come in and get him to go eat some cake she says my mother wants you to feed me cake <laughs> Said, child, I cannot. And Jen, Jen are standing in the balcony looking down at Bryce turned women down or whatever. So she feel like she still have a chance with him. So she said, I'm just going to go stand by him. She like, bitch, do it with some type of dignity, girl. Don't have yourself out looking crazy, girl. He don't want you, sis. But he do want it, and they are going to get back together. And then goes into the room with Lata and looks out over everything. And she's telling her, see, this is what control look like. And she said, well, I think it looked like chaos. She said, no, you see what I did? I killed my evil sister. I forged two families together, two powerful families together. Um, and everything is good. You know, I made a nice work environment for y'all. I gave y'all whole champagne money, bitch. We making money. You know what I'm saying? Everything is cool. This is how you do it. And she told her, you need to learn a lesson about people pleasing because that gin, she needs to remember that she worked for you. You don't work for her. And she says, since you've been so good to me, I have something for you. She, give Jen, she gives Desna the keys to Jen's house and tell her that's her house now. And she said, I don't want this. She tried to refuse it like three times. About the third time, Atta was like, bitch, you gonna take these keys, ho. Take these keys. 
said, well, she ain't have to do nothing but screw a hillbilly to get this. All you, you worked your ass off, so you deserve it. And you're like my sister. And she hugs her, and Desna is like, what the fuck am I got myself into? All right, y'all. That's it. That's the whole episode. I thought it was a good season opener. The super trailer looked dope. It looked like Virginia probably either gonna think about getting an abortion or she could. Damn sure was getting out the van at the abortion clinic and Dean was with her helping her get out. So either she, you know, she going to the abortion clinic. We don't know if she actually gonna get an abortion or not. Um, I think that some kind of way Desna and Roller gonna end up messing around, especially when she find out that this man you know, was, um, cause I don't know if he knows that Desna involved is involved in the business, the doctor. I don't know if he knows Desna is involved, but when she finds out that he's involved, it's going to be a major turn off for her because I know she wants somebody less legit. And that's part of the reason that she like him is because he's legit. He's a doctor. So, um, but I think that that guy is going to be like the key to this whole thing. He either going to be the total bad guy or he going to come in through in the clutch and save everybody at the last minute. So it's a lot of different variables that's going around. Um, I I think that Lata is a lot more vicious than we can see on this first episode. Um, like if she had to cut some limbs off or sell a hole to a brothel, she'll do that. Okay, so um, all in all, I thought it was a good season starter. I love Claws, y'all. I was so here for it last year. I just enjoyed it, and this time I get to enjoy it with y'all. So let me know what you think about this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video with all your friends. If you want to follow me on social media, you can follow me at who is April Dawn. That's on Twitter. That's on Instagram and that's on Snapchat. I have changed them all to the same thing. So y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.